Hello, Year 3. Welcome to Friday's English Work for Week 5 of your online learning. Today we're going to be reviewing and consolidating our understanding of prefixes and suffixes. So we can see the helpful hint box at the top. And it's just going to remind us that a prefix is a set of letters added to the beginning of a word to change its meaning. For example, unhappy, supermarket, mistake. A suffix is a set of letters, letters added to the end of a word to change its meaning. For example, worker, helping, helpless. Okay, and there are two tasks linked to prefixes and suffixes. But first, let's look at some together before you get started. So which prefix could we add to the word grateful to change its meaning and make a new word? Un, super, sub, or dis. Have a think. If you said un to make ungrateful, you're correct. And remember, prefixes change the meaning of the word. So ungrateful means not grateful. Okay, we have another word, agree. Which prefix can we add to agree to change the meaning? Unagree, superagree, subagree, or disagree? Have a few seconds to think. If you said disagree, well done. Disagree means to not agree again. So the prefix added at the start has again changed the meaning of the word. Okay, let's quickly look at suffixes as well. So suffixes come after the word, and again, they change the meaning. So we have the word help here, the word help. Now, which suffix could we add to the end of help? Ment, er, or full? Let's have a think. If you said helper, well done. So instead of someone asking for help, a helper is someone who can provide help. Also, can you think of another one for help? Yes, you can also make helpful. So some of these words uh, work with more than one suffix. So back to the worksheet, complete task one by using the following words to write new words using the prefixes above. So see which prefix would work with which word. Remember, prefixes go at the front. And then number two, suffixes. Use the following words to write new words using one of the suffixes above. So you have munt, er, or full. Now an extra task I'd like you to do is to pick two prefixes that you've made and two suffixes that you've made and to write two sentences containing, um, sorry, to write a sentence for each of those suffixes and prefixes that you chose. I'll just repeat that again. So choose two um, words with prefixes that you've made, choose two words with suffixes that you've made, and write a sentence for each of those. Okay, good luck. Bye-bye.